So, you know, I, I try not to read bios too much because you can start just kind of like regurgitating information, but mm -hmm. I, I read that you were discovered on a subway in Paris, and it sounded actually quite scary. Were, right. you just, were you just riding the subway and some guy came up to you and said, you should be a model? Yeah, well, it was actually, I was there on vacation to visit a friend, and it was an English woman who came up to me who did commercials, and she approached me and said, you should do commercials, or you should, you know, Yeah. and here's my number, and call me, so... I did, and then I ended up living there for a couple of years and wow. making money and traveling, and you know, had a great time. So you've lived, you you lived in Paris for a while. I lived in Paris wow. for like three years. Wow. Yeah. So you speak French well? No, not no. well. <laughs> You've got to be immersed, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Have you ever been down to New Zealand, Australia? No. Yeah. I have a good friend from New Zealand. Oh, do you? She lives here in LA. Yeah, she, she runs a hotel here. You should go to Chateau. She runs Chateau. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, I want to go to Australia and New Zealand badly. So yeah. maybe we'll do press down there. You should. Yeah. I, w I wonder how you get time to do anything really because you just made a movie um, and you and you did Grey's Anatomy. I mean, do you get much time just for you? Uh, very little. I mean, we're on set a lot. You know, there's a lot of hours put into this show, but, you know, we have a show where there's a lot of stories going on and a lot of, you know, characters intermingling, and so that does take a lot of time, but it's nice. It's better than being bored. Yeah. You know? I think, I think that last episode of the second season when, you know, the tragic episode that made us cry for weeks, um, and your character Alex picked up Izzy, you know, that, that, was, a, that was a moment, that was a TV moment, you know? Mm -hmm. It was something that, that people who watch Grey's Anatomy will always remember. Do you remember anything from TV as you were growing up? It was like a moment where you went, oh man, on that episode of that show when that happened? Oh my God. I can remember shows, not so much moments in the top, but I remember Roots. I remember being really affected by Roots when I was young. Yeah. Uh, the beginning of that. Um, God, that's a good question. I know I do. Gosh, a lot of sitcom moments. Well, when you I'm know. gone, you know, if you remember it, just yell out. <laughs> yeah. What, what show did you have to watch when, when, you know, like, before you got into the business, like when you were at school and stuff, it was like your favorite TV show? Oh, my favorite TV shows. I loved all those 70s shows. The Incredible Hawk, Six Million Dollar Man, Bionic Woman. Um, all the superhero shows I was a big fan of. A lot of sitcoms, The Jeffersons, yeah. All in the Family. Wow. Um, all in the Family? Wow. Yeah, You're all the too family. young for that, wouldn't no, you? No, I'm not that young. Wow. I mean, all in the Family is great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm trying to think of medical shows. Quincy. I love oh, Quincy. Wow. Yeah, they've been running that. They have these certain cable networks like iDoc and these other networks that will run all these shows that I grew up watching. So I'll watch them again. Wow. Yeah. Do, you, do people expect you to be medical? I know some people get so caught up in a show. They really do get caught up in it. But yeah. it's a great feeling that people come off and to be really moved by what we've done. You know, because the show has so many elements to it. You yeah. know, you're dealing with life and death, but you also have this, the, you know, sort of the, the idiosyncrasies of relationships going on. You know, and these characters back and forth, who's sleeping with who, who's in love with who. And um, it makes a great hour of television. Yeah, you know? nice. Yeah. Do you think um, Alex is going to get back with Izzy? Because everybody likes I think it. he's going to try. I think he's still yeah. in love with her. I mean, I know he's still in love with her, but um, I think that's sort of a relationship. Right now, you know, what she's gone through, sort of just step back, let her deal with this. And, um, you know, he's got still growing up to do. But for him to, to sort of find love for the first time in his life was a big issue for him. Who does he confide that? I was thinking about the character and I thought he doesn't really confide in anyone. No, I mean, he's not really a communicator. No. He kind of holds it all inside. That's one of his biggest, you know, obstacles in life is to sort of learn how to communicate and, you know, be in touch more with his emotions and, you know, he's, he's a wise, wise cracks. That's how he gets it out, you know. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of issues for him to sort of work on and that's what makes an interesting character. You make a lot of friends at that time of your life too, you know, when you just graduated from college and you're going through that crappy time where you're just getting established, you know. Yeah. Do you still have friends from that era in your life, you know, when you were starting out, you know, that were acting think, really yeah. tight with? Well, I have a friend now that helps me, I've, I've trained acting with, and he'll help me now work on scenes, you know. Mm -hmm. This is 15, 10, 12 feet, you know, so many odd years ago. But yeah, there are friends that I still, I have a few friends from 20 years ago, so... Mm -hmm. is, it, is it harder to make friends now than it was? Because, you know... Yeah. Well, I mean, I think when you get older anyway, aside from the career, it's just sort of like you kind of yeah. can weed out what what interests you in people. I mean, I have a family. That's pretty much my time-consuming factor, you know? Yeah. I mean, my kids are my friends. My wife is my friend, so...
You know, I mean, we're working all the time. I, yeah. We get along really well in the cast, and yeah. we'll go out and have a drink once in a while. And, you know. Yeah. 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 It's cool. Yeah.